To install Derby, you're going to go to the Apache download site, um, get the latest version, click on one of the mirrors, scroll down to the DB folder, click on Derby, get the latest version. For Windows, you're going to get a zip. Might take a little while to download. Once it's downloaded, you're going to move it to, I mean, you can unzip it from here, but we're going to put it into um, an Apache folder. So I'm going to go to my C drive, do a new folder, call it Apache. You really could put it anywhere, but this is uh, going to help you follow along with the instructions. I'm going to extract it here. Um, there is another folder inside of this with the same name. So if I remove that folder name, it will end up having just one folder, which will match the rest of the instructions. If you didn't change that folder, you would just have to rename it and move some files and folders around, but that's what we want. We want Apache and then one folder and then bin. Going back to the install instructions, going to uh, right click and copy this instruction, open up the command prompt by hitting the Windows key and then CMD. Right click to paste what has been copied. Make sure you're only copying the instruction part of it. Right click copy, right click will paste automatically. And if you've set your folders up properly, that command will work. If that command did not work, it was a problem with your folder structure. I'm going to do set embedded CP. And this is when we find out if everything worked properly. If you get a bunch of stuff, that means it did. And you're ready for step two.